Hi everyone, said here back again with another video. In this video, I am going to discuss about Laravel 8 form validation. So look here, I have this form right now. Uh, we have two fields here. First for the title and second for the description area. Okay, so now uh, I am going to show you if um, uh, any kind of text. Suppose I am going to put single and here I don't want to just leave it here. Okay, unique. So I am using two basically here form is required and minimum max something okay and here is required value only so in body also we can put like this one so minimum maximum so suppose here the minimum maximum something so both of the minimum value is 5 so let's check again so I am going to remove this one again I am going to click here the title body title and body both is required so I am going to put here one or two something here again one or two something then look title must be the five character okay so now here title also is a must is a five character okay so now we need to put here also we have here description suppose suppose we have description and here I am going to check description or not we have the description here let's check again suppose I just mention here again description field is required so now this is coming and coming again and again so why so what we can do here suppose we have this post okay now i am going to change you little bit change here suppose how this is working again i will show you so first of all i am going to show how these errors are uh, appearing here suppose if here we have given the any uh, errors are coming from here then uh, once we submitted the form here so we put it the validation which required uh, request validates so this method basically validate methods are checking title and description descriptions is required or not something okay so we checking here title is required and minimum max value and descriptions area we are checking same thing so okay so we have applied here and then we need to pass here one CSRF token if we are not passing CSRF we will get error here so now we have the fields here title and description and also we checking if any errors are coming then we are appearing this this basically this one uh, bootstrap class which is a alert alert danger something and here ULLI we are using and we applied the for each loop all errors as errors and here we are printing everything so now this is working fine and uh, we have this one and here I have applied the routes basically get and post something so get URL we are basically using this one uh, for up uh, for this form and if we posting everything so we can passing here directly home controller and store method so this is working fine and hope so this is clear for you and if you want this video is a more description about the form validation so let me know I will also try to make another video and also here I applied the for any and if you want to specific uh, for area purpose basically suppose if you want the title and if you want the description so how you can do that so here you can apply like this one error and here you need to put your uh, name basically which name uh, input tag name here so here I am going to here put here and error okay now inside of the this field we can print like this one uh, div class alert alert danger so this cl class class is basically um, bootstrap class okay now inside of this bracket I am going to pass message only okay so if we are appearing a message only then look what happened again I am going to apply for the title only okay look we get the here one basically alert message here title is required okay so now also if you want to uh, put basically input tag inside the input tag so you can apply inside of the class so how look let me do that here so we have class basically okay so now here I am going to type as an error and inside the error I am going to pass 
title error suppose we have okay and here once we have a title error then we are checking is valid okay and error so we have this kind of things now what we need to do here let me refresh the page we have basically here error title and uh, inside of the error title sorry i have written here wrong spelling since the form is invalid we can uh, print here like this one okay like this one is invalid so i am going to put here is valid css border to pixel solid red important so now if any errors again occurs then we are getting this this kind of errors okay so this is highlighted basically so we can uh, put that like title and description whatever so suppose same things if you want the description then what we need to do here inside of the, this here form we need to check error inside of the bracket we need to pass here description description once we have the put it here description then we need to check is valid and again we put here we need to put here and error okay so we can pass like this one is valid or not something then we can perform the like this one i'm going to put here only this one so again i'm going to copy and here i'm going to paste and we can pass here as a description okay so let's check again now we get the description is required and this both field is working fine so we can do that like this one and uh, here basically is, is dangerous was not working so i put it the hard coded uh, for back border background something css so you can check here this is working fine and if you want to more about this video please let me know so i can make another video thank you for watching this video